What's going on guys? So, just finished training arms. Literally just finished, came in here to, as it, everything's still fresh in my head, just to break down what I went through my arm session. Uh, today, I broke it down with biceps first, triceps second. Well, normally I would superset, you know, biceps and triceps, but I just thought it'd be easier to do one first and then the second after, um, so that I can explain it better. I don't have my mic, so I just thought it'd be good to sit down and talk through the session. I, li I still have the chalk on my hands, but that's how this just shows you I just finished. So the first exercise for biceps, we did EZ bar curls, superset it with, so with wrist facing upwards, supinated, and then we superset that with reverse uh, EZ bar curls. The reason I do reverse is it's more your forearms than anything. You probably don't hit your biceps as much, but um, your biceps are fatigued, so they will still be getting some work. But I, I always find that rather than doing um, my forearms at the end of a session, when you're tired and you probably not put as much effort into it, I always like to start in the beginning. And I find reverse EZ bar curls really, really help with forearm training, especially if you lift it up you're lifting the weight with your forearms and then your forearms will be fatigued so when you're doing the other sessions throughout the whole entire training session, arm session your forearms are already fired up they'll be working twice as hard um, during the session uh, so what I tend to do is superset that move so uh, you can, I probably would do about five sets usually with, with my session with my workouts to be honest like I train I have a set in mind but if I'm if I like the way the exercise feels, I probably will go on for 10 sets. Um, I don't, I'm not a stickler for rules. I don't tend to stick to one rule when it comes to working out, um, when it comes to my sessions. But for the video, the sake of the video, I would probably go for about five sets. And in every single one of these workouts, I always try and do a drop set on arms um, currently. So every single session you see, every single arm workout, there will be a drop set at the end. Either it's a drop set of four or a drop set of three. So on the EZ bar, um, I you notice I did a drop set of three. So start, I usually try and aim for 10 and then drop it and do a 10 and then drop it and do 10 reps. Um, and it's just to absolutely, as I put it, annihilate the muscle you're working in. That's the reason why I do a drop set. Really want to push the, the muscle into overload. So, that's my reason. With the overhand, you don't necessarily have to do that. Uh, but I always finish with the, uh, sorry, the underhand. You don't have to, but with overhand, I finish with a drop set. Right, so the second uh, workout on arms was hammer curls. Uh, with my hammer curls, you probably notice I come inwards. That's for me is that I just feel like I, uh, I hit the muscles a lot better, the bicep a lot better when I come in than when I stand and do them outwards. Uh, uh, sorry, straight ahead. Um, that's a preference, you don't have to do that. I tend to also mix uh, singles and doubles. So maybe the first set I'll start with singles, second set I'll start with doubles, and then when I start to fatigue, I would go into singles. Doing both at the same time makes it harder. Um, I just like, it's just how I train. I like to mix it up like that. And then I superset with incline bench, uh, a, a much lighter weight, uh, and then hammer curls, but this time it's straight up and down. I like to go all the way to my shoulders, actually tap my shoulders with dumbbell and slow down. Um, and with each of my workouts, tempo is key. So try and play around with the tempo. And what I mean by tempo is usually the eccentric phase. So, you know, I sometimes tend to go for, you know, two seconds down or three seconds. Time under tension, really. So you want to keep the muscle under tension for as long as possible. So uh, hence why I play around with tempo. So, you know, you can go for, you know, three, one, one, zero tempo, or three, two, two, zero. Everyone's different, everyone, you know. Some people like to go for five seconds and you come up, one, two, three, four, five, and go all the way back up. Yeah, so play around with tempo. And again, a drop set at the end. I tend to do about five sets in these as well. Five sets, drop set of four or five. Sometimes I'll probably go about six drop set. Start from a heavy weight where you can probably only do about eight. And the rest will be between eight to ten. So you know, start heavy, do some, eight, do eight to ten reps. Next weight, eight to ten. Next eight to ten, and further down. Um, I don't do that as much on the incline, but I also, at the end, I like to finish with the incline. 
um, just to get that a uh, bit more reps in. So the third uh, preacher curls, uh, and, and you probably noticed I like to do my preacher curls slightly differently. Um, I like to twist my pinky finger towards my shoulders and I always find that when I do that I can get more contraction. So if you look at my bicep when I come up, so that's a normal preacher curl on the bench but when I come up and twist you can really get the, the contraction on your bicep. I always find when I twist and another thing I do is I put my hands on my bicep. So my two fingers on my bicep, the whole reason is just to make sure I'm squeezing my bicep at the top of the movement. And what I'm thinking is try and hit my fingers away. So that's the idea is to hit, try and push my finger away from my bicep and that allows me to really contract. And again, finish with a drop set. I don't rest that long when I train arms. So I'm, I try and keep my rest about 40, 45 seconds just to keep that intensity going. Fourth exercise is the bent over bicep curl. Again, I probably will stick to about four sets on these. Because you're alternating, you don't need to rest that long. Again, 30 to 45 seconds, in, you know, uh, or as soon as you finish with one arm, go straight to the other, and, and, and then again. Um, I'll probably say uh, 12 to 15 reps. 12 to 15 reps, but uh, you can, uh, sometimes again, I will go 12 reps, 10, eight, six, and then again, finish with a drop set. Uh, with these, I just do two drop sets. So 10 to 12, and drop it again and do about eight to 10. We're on to the cable, uh, cable uh, bicep curls, standing cable curls. I like to do one arm at a time. You see people do both, but I have a long wingspan, so it, it just doesn't make sense for me. So I like to start with one hand, and I actually, I hold on to the, uh, the other side of the cable because I, I, it allowed me to really pull in and squeeze in the same principle again is try and twist your pinky finger towards your delt to get that extra contraction and i don't like to fully extend so i like to stop about there come in twist and back out come in twist really twist the bicep as you're coming in and all the way out so a lot of these is you remember you have to feel every single rep every contraction you need to make sure you feel it. don't just go through the motion which I find a lot of people do. Um, even if I'm doing 20 reps, every single rep counts. And again, you do a drop set at the end. I would say a drop set of three or four. Rep rise, again, play around with it. I usually aim for 12. Sometimes I'll do 20, 15, 12, 10, four, four sets. And then I'll do a drop set. And same again, play around with the tempo, two seconds on the eccentric, three seconds on the eccentric try and change it up I, I try and change it as i go rather than plan it because i just don't like planning sessions <laughs> that's just me i plan what i would do but i don't like to plan exactly how much sets how much reps i go out i go with how i feel on the session and so that's pretty much my principle with training biceps yeah i think i've pretty much uh said quite a lot on what i do with my biceps um, if you guys have any more questions, I can answer them on the comments below as well. Onto the triceps, we start with EZ bar extensions, followed by close grip press with EZ bar, and followed by a weird plank press that I like to do. It's actually, I, <laughs> I did that in yoga and I found my tricep was killing me when I did them, so I included that into my session. I don't go too heavy when I do EZ bar curls, A, because I had tennis elbow and it's getting better and I don't want to make it worse. Um, you don't have to go crazy heavy when you do triceps extensions with the, uh, with the easy bar. Same with skull oh, yeah. Um Again, four sets, roughly about 12. I, what I do is 12, 12, 12 on all three. Yeah, so about four sets of those. The, the weight looks light, and there is a reason why you're gonna keep it light, because once you get to the, I'll probably say, third set, you're gonna feel it. So keep it light, make sure you're feeling the contraction in every single movement with these, especially with the EZ extensions. And close grip, again, push with your tricep. I also actually like to do close grip on the floor, so pushing off on the floor, less stress on your delt. So that's another trick that you guys can use. Um, and again, you don't need to do a drop set on this because it's already a tricep. Uh, so yeah, that's the first one. And we've got the cable overhead with the rope. 
and superset with single up cable tricep extension, um, tricep pulls. I like to kneel when I do them because I find it's a lot more comfortable than standing. So you see a lot of people stand when they do those, but I like to kneel down because it allows me to fully go down and pull up and I'm a lot more stable when I'm kneeling than when I stand. And again, it's not about going too heavy because you want to make sure you feel the contraction every time you're pulling up and down. So every time you pull up, try and really squeeze. I try not to fully extend. So just stop right before your elbow is fully flexed, go all the way back down. Um, and I find that that helps to keep the constant tension on the tricep. And with the single cable uh, pulls, I like to hold my arm just like an L shape. So a lot of people do them to the side. I find it more comfortable doing it. This one I find that I can fully contract my tricep when I pull it down. So just like that, all the way down. And the good thing is you can, you can see how my tricep is working as I do the movement, even without weights. And hence why I find that movement more comfortable. Uh, again, you can finish with a drop set on both. Do about five sets on these. Yeah, five sets, 12 to 15 reps. You can drop the reps, so you start with 15, 12, 10, 8. And lately I've been keeping the exercises to a minimum, I'll say five on each, uh, keeping the sets quite high. Play around with uh, the reps, 15, 12, 10, 8, 8, and then you know, do a drop set on the on the fourth, fourth, fourth to fifth set. And then one of my favorites is the cable kickbacks with triceps, you, if, you, if done right, your tricep will be burning like crazy when you do these. Uh, I like to probably do about five sets of these. And when you, with the kickbacks, what I like to do is when I come in, when I fully extend, you want to almost twist, see where you're holding the, the cable, twist it inwards. So twist your arm inwards, because that will fully allow you to uh, get a good, uh, contraction in your triceps and you come in. So try and keep your shoulders straight, bend over, come in and twist it outwards. And that just gives you a really good contraction on your tricep. You can't go too heavy on these because otherwise it just doesn't work. So no weird rocking motion. Try and keep yourself static. Hold on to the bar in front of you and fully kick in. Um, the, another trick you guys can also use is another alternative is the seated rows. Uh, if you take the handles on the seated row, just the cable, if you kneel on the bench, one leg on the bench, again, because that gives you more stability to really pull and contract on the triceps. You guys should try those out. I guarantee you will get the craziest pump in your triceps that you've ever had. Um, I like to Stick to around 12 reps, start with 15. Sometimes I start with 20, start with 20 reps and then just come down to 15, 12, 12. I like to keep the volume high on the kickbacks and, and again, do a drop set uh, to finish off. Yeah, that's pretty much uh, all the tricep exercises. I know that it's not a lot, and you guys are like, it's not a lot, but if you combine biceps with triceps, you're super setting. Again, keeping the rest short, 40, 45 seconds. Um, if you're doing biceps, you can go straight into triceps. Keep the rest short, keep the intensity high. You don't need two hours. An hour is enough. So just remember that when you're training, intensity, intensity, intensity. But you have to make sure you feel the muscle, feel the contraction. Tempo is key. Focus on the eccentric, especially of, a, of certain movements. The most important, I would say, is when you're doing um, your triceps, focus a lot on the eccentric. But I would say biceps and triceps. Yeah, so that is, you know, pretty much an arm workout of what I'm doing now. You should have probably one of the craziest arm workout, if done right. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, good, bad, any tips you have for me, I appreciate also. Uh, any questions you have, also leave a comment. I probably forgot a few things out. And uh, thank you for subscribing and have an awesome week, day, peace out.